Look, you're a little bit worried that you're going to hurt a puppy doing this. The answer is it's very, very safe. It's hard to mess this up. But I would say this one thing. The kids around the house are going to want to participate in this, and that's great. But get your technique down first before you hand this over to a, to a young child to do this, especially very young puppies. They're a lot less fragile while they're 10 days old than when they are when they're a day old. So just monitor what's going on just to make sure it's being done correctly. All right. So what are we going to do? We are going to give them some goat's milk. This comes with our puppy kit. You can buy this at Walmart or other places, but anyway, this is part of our, our puppy kit. So the great thing about this is this is powdered goat's milk. You can feed this absolutely safely. Don't use regular cow's milk. That would be a big mistake. This is a, a regular human bottle with a silicone nip for a, nipple for a zero to three month old baby, human baby, which works. It looks huge. But actually, when you look at this compared to mum's nipple, it's not much different in size, and it works beautifully. Do not use those small little pet things. Can you hand me that, Tammy? Yeah. There's some little that you can buy. You know, you go to Pet Smarts, and you can buy some little things they say are for, for, for feeding newborns. Well, like kittens. Um, you can do kittens. Yeah, you might be doing a kitten with this, but, but, but this is not what you want. That, this, is, this is junk. Just, just ditch that. D don't, don't buy into this deal. Not what you want at all. Throw it away. What kind of milk are you feeding? It's goat's milk. It's never cow's milk. Cow's milk is not very digestible. You can cause diarrhea and, and stomach problems. So it's always goat's milk. You can get this in three different flavors. You can get what I use, powdered goat's milk. Uh, you can, Mayenberg makes it and it's included in our puppy care kit. You can go buy it at a pet store. It's normally called Espelac. It's exactly the same thing as goat's milk, powdered goat's milk. Mix that in a ratio of, uh, let's see, what is it? It is um, one tablespoon per ounce of water is typically what the ratio is. You can buy it at places like Walmart along with the creamer section as a whole goat's milk in a can. That's great stuff, nothing wrong with that. That's wonderful, you know, basically raw goat's milk. Um, and you can buy it in a condensed form typically be in the baking section and it comes in a tin and you've got to mix that 50-50 with water if you use that. I, that's one I least prefer, by the way. Uh, I like the powder because it's so easy to do, but they all work just fine. Right, so, when you, so this is so easy to do. You just put some powdered milk in here. You add hot water to it. It's mixed up in seconds. And here's what you want to see. You don't want to see this thing dripping like crazy. Just a slight little drip's fine. That's what you want to see. Don't want to see it flooding. All right. But test so, the warmthness on your wrist. So yeah, do that on my wrist, honey. Okay. So Good. what you do on is the just, inside just, of your wrist. just like a baby. So just test it. You, whoops. And there you can feel it. Just yeah, nicely warm. Like that. And uh, it's just just the same temperature as me. Perfect. Okay. Well, one of the problems that you can have is that you tip this. You got milk in it, and the milk is just dripping out of here way too fast. What can you do about this? You've got to throw that nipple away and start again. You cannot make a nipple that's flowing too much flow less. It can't be done. On the opposite side, a nipple that's not flowing enough can be opened up. And the best way to do this is to take a needle or a safety pin, heat it up with a match till it's red hot and just put it in the hole where the hole is. And it kind of cauterizes the hole and stops it from spreading. And that will make a bigger hole. That's the only way that you can do that successfully. All right, okay. okay. So let's choose, let's choose one of the little. Now these guys, this is the very first time that they've ever had a bottle. And it can be a little bit of a fight the first time. Okay, so here he is, and you can see he's a bit tucked in, right? We wanna see it, so how do we know when we've given him enough food? Because his tummy's gonna be swelled up a little bit. It's not gonna be a lot, but it's still gonna take maybe longer than the video is gonna be, because it's gonna take you know a few minutes to do this. So here we go. All right, so what we're going to do is, he's not going to like this. You'll see he's like, I don't want to... Notice, notice James has both his fingers and his thumb on each side of the... Yes. Yeah, so mouth. what I'm going to do is I'm going to open his mouth up a little bit. And I'm going to get that. He's not going to like this. No. Can you see it all right? Yes. There we go. Barely. Got it in his mouth. Yeah. Now, he will very quickly realize that that is something that I like. And there he goes. That was that quick. You've got to get a little rough. Now, here's a secret. Don't flood the puppy. Yeah. If milk starts coming out of his nose. Paper towels are the have, best thing to soak up. Yes, have a paper towel handy and mop up any, just stop feeding him and mop up any Don't excess milk. Air. And there it is, see the excess milk right there? Okay. So we're just gonna, yeah. we're just gonna wait for a second paper and towel. we're gonna take a paper towel and we're just gonna mop it up and there he sneezes it up. We don't want him to get that in his lungs. We yeah. do not want to aspirate this puppy. 
Milk aspiration, this is one of the things that really is what can upset the whole process. So if you've got a puppy that milk's coming out of its nose and that is gonna happen, just do what I'm doing, take a paper towel and mop that up and just back off on feeding until that clears up. If you continue to feed a puppy with milk running out of its nose, the danger is it gets into its lungs. And if you get milk into a puppy's lungs, that can lead to milk aspiration and then pneumonia with a secondary bacterial infection. That really is a bad situation. So if you've been feeding puppies and you notice later on that puppies have got clear fluid coming out of their mouth, they've got based on what looks like a cold, be aware that you've probably got milk aspiration and it may be time to have some antibiotics on board to stop this secondary infection. Yep. So here we go now again. Now you got more milk. So here's... He needs his nose wipe. Go ahead, again. just give him a little wipe. There you go. No, nope, here. Thank you. He's struggling a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So some of this he is good. Wants he's, it. Some of this is good. He's got a taste of it. Let's see if he'll take it now. He may take it. And he may not. He may take it and he's Just not going to. It's funny, after mama. you've done this a few times, they will take it very readily. But the first few, I've got to get my finger on the side of his mouth. And I've got to, bit, got to get a bit rough with him. There's my finger on the side of his mouth and that nibble goes, whoops. I'm, I'm not doing a very good job here. So here we go again. He's pretty wiggly. There we go. There we go. And you can see he's just guzzling. I'm, I'm going to try and keep the flow down a little bit. Well, if I've just got it right on the edge of the nipple. Air. Yeah, well, I've got it. I've got the nipple covered. You can see that there's milk all the way on the edge of the nipple. I just don't want to flood him too much. The problem is if I tilt this up, gravity forces it a little bit faster. So you can see there's, there's milk all the way where the nipple end is. So we'll see if he does a little bit better. And you can see his... Now I can tell you he's about to he's overload. Out. Yeah. He's about to overload. Can you see his, okay. he's about to overload? Yeah. So when you're holding the puppy, hold the puppy upright. You do not want to have, you don't want to be like a baby where the puppy's on its back because you, know, you really can get too much milk going on. Too, you want to hold the puppy so the puppy is upright and he appears the puppy's head, just like I'm holding it and feed it that way. I would not feed like this. I would feed like this. Okay. Um, and then don't squeeze the bottle. We do not want to force feed this puppy. The puppy needs to take the milk when it's ready by it, its mouth, you know, squeezing on the nipple. And one thing that I didn't mention is, is you can see if things are going right. If you look right at where the nipple is and where the puppy's mouth is, right at this region right here, you'll see little bubbles. And if you're seeing little bubbles, it means that the puppy is taking milk. And then when it lets go of it, bubbles are going back in. Um, and do you need to burp a puppy? No, I don't burp puppies. Look, if you've really got a lot of air in there, you could burp a puppy if you want to, but typically I don't burp a puppy and I don't think it's necessary. Now he's going to take yeah, that's it. that's easier. Now he's going to take it. And when he does his head jerking, that means that we're doing a little bit of an overload. And you can already see, look at his belly. Yeah. It's a pride. He's not a very big pup. He doesn't need very much. We don't want to just, you know, we can go back and feed him in another half an hour. Yeah. We, we, I'm, not, I'm just going to do a little bit more of this, but not a lot more. Yeah. Tube feeding, you know exactly how much Yeah, tube feeding is, is really a, here he goes. Move your finger. There you go. He's getting after it. Mm -hmm. So this is a good, this is, by the way, I need to show you on the next puppy the, the signs of whether a puppy's going to be able to nurse or it's got problems. You can okay. see this guy's getting off, and there's the milk coming okay. over his nose. Yeah. So we're going to stop him. He's had enough for right now. Yes. If you look at yes. his, again, honey. Look at his belly. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Tammy's doing a good job for me. There we go. We don't want him to get, see, look at his belly. Oh, big. big. So he's belly. had, he's had enough. Yeah. All right. Let's get, belly. I'm going to get a bigger yeah. girl out here. So when has the puppy had enough? Well, you can see that puppy, it's jerking its head off to the side. That means probably it's had enough. And it does that repeatedly, stop. And then, you know, check its belly. If its belly's nice and plump, you're done. But if you want to know how much you should be feeding a puppy and how often, the rule of thumb is, is whatever the puppy re weighs in ounces, you feed that in mils. 10 ounce puppy would get 10 mils. A five ounce puppy would get five mils every three hours. So that is typically what you're going to be feeding. That's a lot easier to know what's going on if you're tube feeding because you know exactly how much you put in the syringe. When they're bottle feeding, it's hard to know how much a puppy's had. You can put a mark, you know, you can put a mark on the side of the bottle and see how far you've gone down for the mark. But the problem is it'll be a very small amount. It'll be very hard to tell. 
So best way to tell is the puppy's saying I've had enough by spitting the, the nipple out of its mouth and its belly's nice and full. All right, okay, here's the next one. Now this guy's actually a little not quite as tucked. Bigger dog, bigger puppy. Yes. Bigger puppy. The ones All right, so here's how you know if this puppy's okay. The first thing is this puppy feels nice and warm. It's not cold. If a puppy's cold, don't even think about feeding any milk. You've got to get puppies warmed up. The biggest thing that will do a puppy in is getting cold. If you've got a cold puppy, get it in an incubator if you've got one. If you don't, go get a towel, put it in the, uh, in the dryer. Get it nice and warm, or maybe get a bag of, uh, of, of rice and put that in the microwave. But you've got to get... Be careful with the microwave and... Yeah, Last, you could yeah. put it under your under your under your, under your shirt. Under your shirt, but you've got to get this puppy. If it's cold, it's got to be warmed up. And don't want puppies to get cold, especially puppies that are a day or so old. I'm not using a hand towel here, but it's not a bad idea to take a hand towel, hand towel or a paper towel, and wrap the puppy up in that, so that the puppy retains heat. It's not a bad thing to do, as opposed to just my hand. So I I, I would recommend, especially if it's going to take some time to feed a puppy that you think about keeping that puppy warm while that process is going on. Here's Never the next thing. Take your little finger and stick your finger in its mouth. It and matches. this puppy, here it goes. You see it's, suck, it's suckling away on my finger and it feels nice and warm and moist. And there it yeah, goes. Okay. Nice and warm and moist. That, and you can see it's wet. That is a puppy that's a healthy, happy little puppy. So here we go. Let's see what he does. She. Same. She. Let me it a little bit easier. You know. If you did the finger test, in the mouth and the puppy is not suckling then there's no point in trying to use a bottle the, the puppy's just not going to take it and if that puppy's not gaining weight you've got only one thing that you can do and that's tube feed that's a whole new video a whole different approach to the whole thing but i think it's important that you understand how you do that because if you do enough of this i promise you there's going to be times that you will be tube feeding puppies let me take it a little bit easier you know who that is don't you this is uh, Phoebe. That's right. She's taking a few little tentative suckles. She doesn't, and then she's like, hey, hey, hey. Now she probably won't get flooded, but we're not gonna, now you can see little no, bubbles. Probably will. You think? I don't know. I think as fast as she's going, I think she's just gonna take this bottle like, like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Anything else you can think to add on this, Tammy? No. Okay. Other than my hand's getting tired. Is it? Yeah. Getting a good video. Okay, getting it out of there her we go. nose. There, there we she go. goes. There she goes. Yeah. Oh, bunches, bunches, bunches. There we go. Yeah. Do it again. Good. Okay. Got to be careful because you really can get, get, get milk in their lungs. Sometimes you'll see puppies nursing on mum. I'll do it one more time. Puppies on puppies nursing on mum, and they will start. Oh, yeah. And you Aspirate. can't do you can't do much and about it. Mama dog will lick their little noses. You'll see them licking their face, and they're clearing that for them. So when this puppy's had enough, it'll it'll push his That's head off the pretty. side, and it it won't suckle anymore. So Phoebe, you're gorgeous. She is pretty, isn't she? Mm -hmm. She's a little tentative. She's got a hand up. Says it's my turn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so James and Tammy with uh, Love My Pups, www.lovemypups.com. Right. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hit the end button. There we go.